Welcome to the fam. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to be talking about comparing yourself to other artists or other people in general. And so people live different life experience and some may have trained at a younger age to get to where they are at now. And as we age, we start to have and grow limiting mindset or mental blockages that's, that stop us from achieving our full potential. Nothing is too late or too soon to start. There's, there have been like many people that have obtained, obtained a skill at a much later age. For example, 22, uh, Ryo Fukui, I believe. Uh, he's a Japanese pianist. And he started at age 22 and eventually he became a, a hit in Japan. Uh, and there are many more people that you can find out. For example, some people at age 70 or, you know, age 40 or so, you, f you can find out their stories and you'll see that, you know, it doesn't matter where you're starting from, you can still make it. It's just that they just started to take action upon their dreams at a much more later age. And as for you, the individual, the unique perspective, the avatar that you're in, you know, for example, my avatar is Marcus Fenelon. You know, the ego personality structure, which makes you, you. All the experiences that you've obtained that makes you, you. There are gifts and lessons in our life experiences. And you may not be the gifted artist at age six, but it doesn't mean that you aren't able to get to their level. And plus, as you learn the ways of art to see what teachings work for you and what teaching what teachings doesn't work for you in a way through that process you're gaining two different skills or two different gifts from that experience compared to the already talented gifted artists at age six or so and so the first gift is the ability to teach and discern drawing tips to teach others an easier way on how to draw you know from your experiences so you'll make a great teacher if you can relate to the novice student that is just starting out and so the second gift is just drawing the drawing skill itself and so every talented artist that you may come across they have different experiences or different life paths but they have a choice to continue on their passion for the arts and excel to an even greater height and there are also there's also the uh the parallel life path of that gifted artist in which he or she uh stops drawing altogether and that stopping of the drawing altogether makes the average draw artist you know eventually surpass that prior gifted artist and so really and truly when we're comparing ourselves to other people we have to consider the kinds of the kinds of experiences we have and the kinds of experience the other person has. So that can be the difference in schooling, the difference in parent parenting, the difference in friends, our environment, and etc. And so to use our imagination to give a uh, proper example is let's say that you as an individual you grow you grow up in a, a war zone. And in a war zone, it's a dangerous environment. You may be lacking in schooling. You may have lost a few uh, relatives in the process. You know, horrible things overall. But one thing that may have kept you going is reading Captain America or, or Spider-Man comic. Thus, your passion for comics grew. And so fast forward to when you move to a different country or if there is suddenly peace within the war zone that you're living in. And so at age 17, you start to settle into your new life and you remember your passion for comics and you see that that passion of comics is what kept you alive throughout the war zone, etc. It kept your spirit alive, that is. And you have a desire to start a comic about based on your experience as a kid in a war zone. It could be a fantasy comic of something separate. It's something that you have first-hand experience it with 
and the first-hand experience can't be replaced by an article that you read or a movie that you see or professionals that claim to know what actually happens in the war zone because you actually you've been through it and you know what's going on so you may have uh as you were you know reading comics throughout the, the your time as a kid in the war zone you may have gathered an idea for uh, storytelling by reading the comics however you're lacking in the drawing skills and so when you eventually uh start to learn how to draw and start to seek uh things uh, you start to uh, get disappointed. Let's say you're in a class. This is your first time in a class. You start to get disappointed that someone that's like two years y uh, younger than you, like already drawing at a professional level and, and whatnot, and has a good uh, storytelling background and all that jazz, you know. And you start to compare yourself. However, one thing to keep in mind is that you grew up in a war zone and you didn't have the opportunity that the others had. Not to mention, this is first-hand experience. You have first-hand experience within the war zone. And since you have that first-hand experience, you may have never came up with that idea to write a fantasy comic about a kid in a war zone. And since you have that first-hand experience, you can write about, you know, losing relatives. You know, it can be more realistic. You, you can put your own touch, your own uniqueness into your creation. And so... I feel when you compare yourself to others, it's a it's a disrespect to your unique experiences, both the good and the bad aspects of your life. Rather, you're someone lacking social skills and you're blaming it on yourself or you've obtained, uh, you have to understand that you've obtained a perspective that can be used to your own advantage. It can lead you to excelling greater let's say you do have like a you're lacking in social skills it could lead you to excelling greater than a person that already has that high charisma at a very uh, young age you know you can get to the next level and when you get to that next level you have the mastery of being able to relate to people that have the lack of social skills and you can uh, say to them that you know I've been through it and I've made it out Basically, if I can do it, you can do it, you know, kind of kind of deal. And you can say that with 100% uh, confidence. And that will be the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to hit us up on the various social media sites. I'll be down in the description below. And feel free to join the family, the old Gorno Art family. So that will be the video. Peace out.